My wife and I moved into a house in uh, Historical Plymouth, right in downtown, and uh, we weren't there a couple of weeks, not even, and uh, stuff started happening. My name is Bill Martin. I'm a paranormal investigator with the New England Society of Paranormal Investigators. Uh, we have um, Mike and Mike. Uh, they're the two founders of the group. We have myself, um, Frank, who is uh, one of the EVP investigators and specialists, and um, we also have Jeff, who's one of our camera guys. You have to get special permission from the caretaker to be here. Um, you will get arrested if you come here after hours. Uh, I've been to the Barnstable House down on the Cape, uh, the Yarmouth Inn, quite a few places, private residences, things like that. Right here, right where we're standing, is, uh, I had my first uh, major paranormal sighting. I saw a full-bodied apparition right where you're standing. Um, I saw it face on for a good 10-15 seconds and then it dove right into the ground and that was it. People call us because they're afraid. Everybody, if they move into a house and suddenly they're, they're experiencing paranormal activity, they think, oh my God, this is something bad. And it's not. Very rarely do you see something bad. I've only seen it twice in 12 years. Um, it's, it's, everybody associates a haunting with the horror movies, and that's a total opposite of what it actually is. Don't be afraid of things. Things go bump in the night. It could be a house, it could be anything. If you do find yourself in a paranormal situation, try not to panic. That's the worst thing you can do. If you get scared, they get scared. And their energy is a lot different than yours. My name is Bill Martin. I'm a paranormal investigator with New England Society of Paranormal Investigators, or NESPE. And uh, if you need help, if you have any questions, contact us at www.capecodghosthunter.com or www.nespi.net. Face to face. It's usually out of the corner of your eyes. Sorry, your kid's in shock. <laughs> <laughs>